Hey, Medea, how are you, man? I'm good, brother. How are you? Good. Everything's well? Yeah, everything's all good, man. All good here. I just uh, kind of feel like, uh, you know, crossing over to New Jersey to talk to a guy called Bobby. I should start with, hey, Bobby, how you doing? What the fuck? What the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> how you doing, brother? Did you talk about that guy like that? He was just fucking sitting here. <laughs> 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 oh man thanks very much for some time bro i've just been uh, listening to the album over again so uh yeah excited to chat right. to you and thanks for the thanks for the such a warm welcome you know from my uh from my home state we're really <laughs> not that rude we're not we're not really that rude <laughs> <laughs> i believe it i believe you uh before we let you go let's do five minutes alone are you ready Sure. What was the first album or piece of music you heard that made you th go, that's what I want to do? Well, I can tell you, um, I mean, it was music that preceded this. Mm. Uh, but it was, uh, it was 19, I guess it was, it was either 75 or 76. And it was at a place in New Jersey uh, called Passaic. Um, just a really shitty city. You know, one of the, I mean, you can't, you can't describe it. And the place was the Capitol Theater. And, and in the daytime, it was um, it was a big porno theater. You know, they they, they would like they'd bring down the old, you know, the old movie screen and, and play like giant sized pornos. On it. I mean, not that I was there. I only knew I was fucking 15 or 16. If you're not. Would but uh, on the weekends, they do great shows. I saw some of the greatest shows in my life there. Motorhead, uh, Kiss. I saw Kiss on Kiss Alive there. The place held like 3,200 people. In any case, my first real concert was Queen on uh, the Sheer Heart Attack record. And I was in the standing room down the sides. And they, you know, it took an extra hour and a half from the come on. But they opened with Now I'm Here. And uh, I said that was it. I mean, from that point on, I mean, Freddie Mercury to me was just so iconic in, in the live theater uh, you know, he was on one side of the PA, then he was on the other side of the PA in the dark. Then he showed up, at, you know, at the base of the stage, dead center. And I said, that's it. You know, that's, this is what I got to do somewhere. I have to, uh, I have to uh, connect with this. So that's probably it. It's my first concert, not my first album. Yeah, no, cool, man. That's a great story. Uh, what about, uh, the show's called The Metal Bar. I take you to a bar next time you're in New Zealand and I'm buying. What's your poison these days? Oh geez, I'm just a I'm just a beer drinker. Um, I can't say I'm, I'm a cheap beer drinker. I used to be more of an imported beer guy. Uh, occasionally, I'll hit a little of the Irish. I like a little Tullamore Stew after uh, you know some of our holidays here, sitting around the fireplace. Um, but it just just the beers. I mean, I don't have any uh, I don't have any big taste for anything except uh, the norm. You know. Yeah. Nothing, nothing outside the, you know, a little of this and a sip of that. Yeah, nice. All right. Uh, what about, you've been doing this for a while now, so you may, you may have a good take on this, but uh, the most disgusting habit of someone you've toured with? We toured with a guy, and I don't like talking about the dead. But this fucking guy would, he would do an entire tour without taking a shower. And we were talking fucking six weeks Oof. this fucking <laughs> and on top of that he would cover himself in patchouli oil you know so it was like i remember one tour he had and he wore the same clothes daily for the entire thing and his zipper busted uh right on the first day and he always went commando and he would be up on a ladder fixing lights or something. I'd be walking on stage and his ding dong would be hanging out and all that patchouli oil smell all over the place. And I, I said to him, I looked up at him, I said, you know something? I smell you more than I smell me on this tour. And I saw your dick more than I saw my own dick. On <laughs> <laughs> oh, that is genius. That is but genius. A great man. A great man beyond that. I, I'm not trying to, again, I'm not trying to, to, to uh, stir up the dead. He was a great man, a great friend, and somebody I always loved. Yeah, great story too, man. Great story. Uh, what about uh, reading material, man? What do you got on the bedstand at the moment? Are you, are you are you into anything? 
you know, I think it's changed for me a little bit. I, uh, the last stuff I got into, I mean, I have, I'm sitting in one of my secondary offices in the house. I mean, I'm looking over there. I got the Ronnie Wood um, autobiography. I did the Nikki Six thing. I went through, geez, I like history. I mean, I, I love American history. Um, I love rock and roll stuff. I love the early English stuff. I read the John Lennon uh, biography, Keith Richards, The Unauthorized. Love all that stuff. But occasionally I'll get into, like, probably my favorite author is uh, Kurt Vonnegut, who is, um, you know, probably is most notorious or, or best known book is uh, something called Slaughterhouse Five. Mm -hmm. takes place in Dresden, Germany uh, at the end of World War II. Yeah, they've just done that as a uh, graphic novel, uh, which I picked up. Just okay. done that as a, they've just done that as a graphic novel, Slaughterhouse Number no. Five that I picked up. It's um, that's really cool. It's really worth worth a yeah, look. Yeah, yeah, it's, it's different. It's an easy read, but it's a it's a great fantasy uh, verse history kind of a thing. The Billy mm. Mumphrey, you know, if you've read it, yeah, yeah, yeah read totally, it, so. man, totally. Um, all right, finally, Bobby, last question. Kid comes up to you today, says, "What's metal?" And you can give them an answer by giving them one album. What album are you going to give them? Oh, jeez. What's metal? Well, I suppose from from where I come, uh, this would be a two-phase answer. Because uh, I'm picturing this kid at one of our shows, right? Yeah. And he says, I'm, I'm about to go on stage. And, and he says to me, hey, man, what's metal? I would hand him, kill him all. Uh, from Metallica, and I say, listen to this. This changed the entire landscape, and it changed it 40 years ago. Mm. Huh. He puts a record down, and now I push him to the side, and I say, get the fuck out of my way. I got some work to do. <laughs> <laughs> Brilliant, Bobby. Hey, listen, man, I appreciate your time. Uh, loving the new album, Scorch. Keep up the good work, and hopefully we can see you here at some point, eh? Fantastic. Thank you, my friend. Thank you.